It's time for the Chronicles of Narnia, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe review for the PlayStation 2. I know nothing about Narnia, I'm honest. I know nothing about it. Other than the fact it was made by C.S. Lewis, who I also don't know that much, but aside from that, that's it. This game was made by Traveler's Tales, who made such classics as Sonic 3D Blast, Sonic R, Haven Call of the King, and most of all, Pugsy. Wait, was that the dog that raped Tom and Jerry? Ugh. Oh, anyways. The game begins in the London bombings. Who'd have thought that'd be the best place to start for a kid's game? Where the family of people who literally have Angelina Jolie's lips, who have the surname Pence Pemvency, or something like that. Either way, Edmund, Lucy, Peter, and Shoujana! And their mom all survived the London bombings. Why? Something I call main character syndrome. This is where the char character survives some incredibly impossible situation that no one else can survive simply because they're the main character. There are lots of people that use this gimmick. Let's see. Sonic, Mario, Son Goku from Dragon Ball, and even Noble Six from Halo Reach at one point. How can you not die falling from a planet? It doesn't work. And you're supposed to be Spartans 3s, thus you have terrible armor. That doesn't add up. And back to the review. For some reason the kids are sent to this gigantic mansion thing which is dominated mostly by what we swear to god is the thin version of Nora Batty from Last of the Summer Wine. And while playing a game of hide and seek, they find a wardrobe to this magical snowy land called Narnia Blah. Which, at the time being, is taken over by this white witch who really looks bored, to be honest. Oh, and there are a lot of badly animated CG animals here, and one of them is voiced by Don French for some reason. I don't get it. So, quite obviously, not asking for any reward whatsoever, they decide to save Narnia. The game, ah, sorry, it's hard to make a review on it because it's it sucks. It's just really terrible. But I'll give it my best shot and we'll see how it goes. So, well, yeah. The game is sort of a realistic version of Lego Star Wars. Actually, just give me a minute. I'm gonna turn the volume down. I am getting a bit loud. It's okay. There. It's very slightly, but whatever. As I said, realistic version of LEGO Star Wars. The four characters have separate abilities. Peter is the bloke that uses swords to hit people. Lucy is the healing tank chick that can crawl into small places. Wink wink. So Jenna can fire arrows and has a weird voice. And Edmund does nothing. Seriously, he has no, po no place in this game or movie. He does nothing, he literally just sits around on a throne and gets tied to a tree and stays there until the last bunch of levels in the game. And he has no remarkable abilities. Sure, he's nimble, but so is Lucy. Lucy. He can whack people, but so does Peter. So he really has no character exclusive abilities of his own, thus he's useless. There are various coins scattered on the level, and no, you don't buy other characters with those. Although it would be cool to kill people as Mr. Tumbus. <laughs> these are instead used to upgrade abilities, and you're going to need some of these because there's something about this game that I'll mention later. The big ones you have to get are the health increasing ones. Why? That reason I mentioned. Now, I'll admit, I like the first four levels of the game because, well, it didn't go with the gimmick, the other levels did. And what is that gimmick? Gang raping. Every level after level 4 consists of you getting gang raped by enemies left, right, and center, which is not good. You want to know why this is very annoying? Well, okay, it's in the LEGO games. Fine. But there are no checkpoints and you respawn right on the spot, so it's not that annoying. Here, there are checkpoints and you're getting gang raped every free time time and it's very annoying I swear if I play this game before I did that top 15 list I definitely would have put these guys here I don't know who they would have replaced but maybe Tales from Sonic 06 I don't know I just wish I didn't put Sora in it any in any ways I should have put K damn me ah no I will admit that the graphics of this game are 
good to a point, but fading into them after the cutscenes just looks really bad. Plus, in the game's engine for some reason, everyone has stuck out fish lips I'm trying to talk like this to show how this is like. I don't get it. Why do they all have fish lips? It's very, very weird. Now, again, I'm not saying this game is completely horrible. I mean, the first four levels are fun, and there are some fun moments. But, if I'll be honest, this game really should have been done two other ways. One, it could have been a full 3D platformer. Actually, it should have. Now, I realize that maybe this would have killed platforming again, as most movie tying games are criticized for. I think it would have used the world of Narnia better. That, or just turn it into a straight up hack and slash game. I mean, it rips off Lord of the Rings enough as it is, doesn't it? I mean, this is what I hate about Traveler's Tales. Ever since LEGO Star Wars, it's all they're known for. They either make games like LEGO Star Wars, or they make LEGO Star Wars games. It's very annoying. Considering they made good games in the past that didn't require LEGO, LEGO or some sort of drop-in, drop-out co-op horseshit. So, I don't know. Regardless, this game is just completely stupid, and I advise you to stay away from it as far as you can. I'm not advising you to destroy it or anything. Just don't. Just stay away from it because it's pretty bad. So, I'm giving. So, this game is the first game on my channel to get Tekken 2. Not completely horrible, but still pretty shit. Well done, Traveler's Tales. Well, well done. No, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go off to make my next review. I don't know what it is. It's a 360 game, anyways. I think it's going to be Prince of Persia Forgotten Sands. I get, I get to play through that game again, yay! So, again, as usual, see yous!